On March 8, NASA conducted the third, out of 12 in total, certification static fire of the newly manufactured RS-25 rocket engine. If this series of tests proves successful, production of the new engines for the SLS rocket will be authorized. While our previous episodes have already covered RS-25 rocket engine static fires, today we will focus on some intriguing information that was not included in previous episodes. The RS-25 rocket engine test bed has storage tanks capable of holding 151,000 liters of liquid oxygen and 415,000 liters of liquid hydrogen. However, these supplies are only sufficient for a 350 second ignition test. If there is an extended test on schedule, as was the case in this instance, transport ships must be utilized. These ships dock nearby and link their oxygen and hydrogen tanks to the cryogenic system of the test site. Every minute, up to 640,000 liters of water can be released into the space beneath the running engine under test. The water enters the space beneath the engine through thousands of strategically placed holes that direct it to where it is required. The RS-25 rocket engine's exhaust gas reaches temperatures exceeding 3,000 degrees Celsius, which is hot enough to melt a steel exhaust deflector below. The water flow not only reduces the intense noise, but also cools the exhaust. The water dispersed in the hot exhaust gas turns into steam, which then exits the test stand and forms a typical cloud. This test eventually lasted 520 seconds, or just over 8.5 minutes, which is the duration that the RS-25 engines will operate during actual flight on SLS rockets. Thank you for watching Spaceflight News. If you have any questions, we would be delighted if you would leave a comment below the video. Additionally, if you believe that your friends would enjoy this video, we would be appreciative if you would share it.